welcome back. There's plenty of ways to garden on a budget these days, and I wanted to touch base on one that I just did today. I love hibiscus, as most of you probably do, but I'm a little picky, and there's a lot of generic hibiscus out there that are just all the same color, but there's three varieties that stand out to me, and you're looking right at them. And you can tell the reason I love them so much is that the center is a different color. So I call them like a bicolor one. And they're just top notch. I love these three. They're tropical, so they're not gonna survive up here. So I'm planting them in a, a container so that I can keep them, uh, bring them indoors and successively get them bigger and bigger. But the reason I love hibiscus is a lot of times they're grown in Southern places and shipped up and they take a few years to really get big and beautiful. By that point, they're hundreds of dollars our cost to be buying something with three colors all in one container. So here I am, I was out, I found each one of these plants for $6.98, so $21 in plants. I bought a pot that I'm gonna plant them in. The pot was about 40 bucks for home goods. And basically, it's gonna take a little maintenance this year because the plants are small, but it's gonna give it time to grow. I'm gonna overwinter it, and by next year, I'm gonna have this big, beautiful hibiscus of three different plants. They're gonna grow all together and it'll look like one plant with three different colors on it. It's gonna look so cool. And then if you count the middle color, almost six colors. So definitely get creative. You find cool things and you have a little patience and they're smaller and a little less expensive. You can go with that and grow them out to get them big and save yourself a lot of money. So I kinda of am gonna just plant these on the outskirts of the pot leave the middle open. I found this really cool blue rock in my yard. I'm gonna use that as kind of like a, just a decorative piece in the middle. And I also am gonna keep the middle open so that as these plants grow, I want some uh, air movement in the middle. I don't want them grouping in because I may at some point years down the road have to transplant them out of this pot into a bigger pot. And then this rock will kind of just break it up. It'll naturalize it and, and, and help the plants from growing in the middle. So I filled my container with some potting mix. I already put in my um, time-release osmo. And I'm gently gonna pot these out. So you kinda wanna dry place them where you think you're gonna like them. If you had multiple plants, it's a lot different. This is just three, so it's gonna be a, a triangle no matter how I do it. Take my rock. I think I'm just gonna have it go straight up and down. Holding the rock as I do this for a little support. You want to give it a light compaction to kind of keep these uh, new transplants where they should be, but you don't want to squish down on it too much because then you're going to over compact it and then water can't drain. And when you're filling your containers, don't fill them right to the brim with soil. I like to leave it about three quarters to an inch below the rim and that way when you water it, it'll create a little well for water to really saturate the plant. If you fill it too high, the water is just going to run right off. So there you go, gardening on a budget. Still looks pretty cool. I'm gonna get flowers all year, but by next year, this is gonna be huge. And um, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.